Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab VMware tutorial series for beginners, lecture number 62. How to create alarms in VMware vSphere environment part 3. In previous two lectures, we have discussed about what alarms are all about and how this alarm can be used to build a very powerful notification and monitoring system for our vSphere environment. We have walked you through a lot of pre-configured alarms what VMware has already provided us for monitoring our vSphere environment. We have also walked you through a condition driven alarms where how alarms get triggered whenever a specific condition is being met. In this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, another category of alarms called event driven alarm. So let's go and discuss about event driven alarms and let's understand how these alarms can be created. So let's get started. As you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server savcs01.govmlab.local. Now let's go and browse our vCenter server. So within that vCenter server, we have a data center created as SA data center. Let's go and browse our data center. In that data center, we have a cluster created as SA cluster and we also have a one standalone ESXi host which is added to our SA data center. Now let's go and browse our cluster and we do see that we have a two node cluster created and there are two VMs which are running on that particular cluster. Let's go and browse our standalone ESXi host and we do see that we have a test VM01 running on our ESXi host. Now Let's go and create event driven alarm. So we're going to create an event driven alarm at the virtual machine level. Click on that virtual machine, click on configure, click on alarm definitions and we do see that a bunch of pre-configured alarms. So now let's go and create a new alarm for our virtual machine. Now what kind of alarm are we going to create for our virtual machine? So let's uh, look at a scenario where this particular test VM01 virtual machine is running one of our critical application and suddenly this virtual machine gets powered off. Now as soon as my critical virtual machine gets powered off, I want this event or this alarm to get triggered and notifying me as an alert about this virtual machine power off state and not only that. I also want a corrective action to happen because this virtual machine is very critical for me. So we want this virtual machine to powered on as soon as the, the alert gets triggered. So I want this alarm not only notify me by generating an alert whenever this virtual machine gets powered off, but I also want this alarm to also go and power on this virtual machine as a corrective action. So that's the alarm we are going to create it. So the first thing is we need to give the alarm name. So let's give a name as virtual machine power off alarm. Description this alarm will trigger whenever this virtual machine gets powered off and it will also power on the virtual machine as corrective action. So that's the description of our alarm. Now obviously the target type would be virtual machine because we are creating an alarm at the virtual machine level. Click on next and now the important thing is defining the rules or the, the triggers basically for our alarm. So the so, I mean, we have already discussed that we have a bunch of metrics available right there. So for, for this particular example, we need to look for the VM state because we are dealing with the V virtual machine state as powered off state or powered on. So click on the search for the VM state and we do see that VM powered off. So select this VM powered off as a one of our trigger. So it says that whenever your virtual machine gets powered off. But do we want this alarm to get triggered for every single virtual machine in our vSphere environment? Not necessarily. 
we want this alarm to get triggered only for our test VM01 because that VM is running our mission critical application. That's where we need to pass the argument. So click on add argument and select the argument as virtual machine name. And the operator would be equal to and give a name of our virtual machine we are interested into. That's a test VM01. So let's review this rule again. This rule says that please trigger this alarm whenever my virtual machine gets powered off. Which virtual machine? Only the virtual machine which has a name as equal to test VM01. So we are good with that. Now, whenever this condition, whenever this particular event will occur, what do I want to do? First of all, I want to show it as a critical alert for my environment because it's a very critical uh, virtual machine for me as we discussed in our example. So we're going to trigger this alarm as critical alert. But not only not only generate that notification, but we also want as uh, this virtual machine to get powered on as a corrective action. But before we go and define a corrective action, let me also show you a couple of options which are right there available, which can also be used. First is send email notification. So let's say whenever this event get occurred, I also want email to be sent to the VMware infrastructure administrator. So you can define your email address admin at the rate of govmlab.com. That could be a one of the email address of my environment and that would be the subject line of that particular email. Since we don't have a SMTP configured, so that's okay to disable it, but it's always recommended that we go and configure send email notifications. You can also send SM, SNMP traps and the last option is run script. If you have any customized script, you can also run that particular customized script as a trigger for that particular alarm. But now as we discuss that, we also want to have a corrective action as a power on operation. So click on this add advanced actions. So click on add advanced actions and select the corrective action. As you could see that there are a bunch of options are available. Migrate VM, power off, power on, reboot, so on, so forth. So now for us, because we want to power on a VM as soon as it gets powered off. So click on power on VM. That's a corrective action. Reset the alarm. No, we don't want to uh, reset this alarm automatically. We want this alarm to be get triggered in our triggered alarm state. So let's avoid this particular option as of now. And now let's review our alarm. So the alarm name is VM power off alarm. Description is this alarm will trigger whenever this virtual machine gets powered off. It will also power on the virtual machine as a corrective action. It is going to execute this alarm for test VM01. That's the specific virtual machine we are targeting for. And let's look at the rules once again. The rule says that if virtual machine gets powered off, having a name as test VM01, then please trigger the alarm as critical alert. And as a corrective action, not only trigger the alert, but also power on that VM. So that's what our alarm rule is all about it. Click on create. And now we would be seeing that our new alarm got created successfully. Now, if you want to review the configuration once again, just click on this arrow and you do see that you can review all of your rules right there from this UI. Now let's go and see that what will happen. Does this alarm gets triggered whenever we power off our critical virtual machine called test VM 01. So let's go and see that how this alarm will get triggered. So right click on that VM, click on power button, click on power off, click on yes, click on the summary section and look at that. Do we see that? Look at that. We do see that the alarm has got triggered successfully. So we do see that VM power off alarm has got triggered successfully. And we also do see the alert sign to our virtual machine. That's, a, that's a, the, first, the first condition what we have defined it as a trigger. But not only that, after powering off that VM, if you do see that, click on the VM console. 
our virtual machine is also being powered on automatically because we just powered off that virtual machine we did not power it on it was our alarm condition which not only notified us about the power of power of virtual machine operation but it also powered on that virtual machine automatically as a corrective action because we have defined it very clearly in our alarm so as you could see that this conclude our lecture on creating event driven alarms where we have learned that whenever a specific event will occur or whenever a specific a rule whatever we have defined it it will get meet that where the alarm will get triggered and we also understood that it will not only generate the alerts but we can also have a capability of defining corrective action such as powering on the vm in the event of power off this conclude our lecture on creating alarms in vmware vsphere environment we hope you enjoyed this lecture thanks for your time please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you